The National Council for Culture, Arts and Letters opened the 20th Grain Cultural Festival with the attendance of the Minister of Information and Minister of State for Youth Affairs, Sheikh Salman Lahmoud al-Subah. The festival will bring together culture, creativity, literature and art in compliance with the instructions of His Highness the Emir, Sheikh Subah al-Ahmed al-Jabir al-Subah. Sarah Glab has this report from Kuwait National Museum. Minister of Information and Minister of State for Youth Affairs, Sheikh Salman Salim al Hamoud al Sabah, also Chairman of the National Council for Culture, Arts and Letters, attended the opening ceremony of the 20th Al Grain Cultural Festival, officially launching the prestigious annual event. We are happy today to uh, have the opening of the 20th uh, Al Qurain Festival. Uh, it's, it's a new. Uh, uh, it's a new, a new uh, Al Qurain festival with with uh, a lot of uh, activities, different activities, which cover different, uh, uh, you know, different programs also. Uh, partic uh, different participation from uh, different countries. Uh, we are talking about participation from uh, United States, from China, from uh, uh, Oman, from from the different Arab countries. We have, uh, uh, you know, as 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 you know, as usual also, uh, al Qur'an festival is one of the most important uh, uh, festivals in Kuwait. Uh, it's the main festival which related to culture. So we are happy to have the opening uh, today. Uh, and we have the, the uh, also happy to have the patronage of uh, uh, His Excellency, uh, Sheikh Jabra al-Mubarak, uh, the Prime Minister, uh, and the attendance of uh, Sheikh Salman al-Subah, uh, the Minister of Information, and uh, the Chief of uh, the National Council for Cultural Arts and Letters. As I, I mentioned, we, we have uh, uh, theater, we have cinema, we have uh, uh, all, also seminars, we have uh, fine arts. During the inauguration, Sheikh Salman said that the festival would convey Kuwait's noble cultural message to the Arab and international arenas, noting that it has become a cultural and artistic beacon for Kuwait since it was launched in November 1994. Yes, we played pieces by Suleiman Aldikan. It's already fourth time we are here in Kuwait uh, with cooperation with uh, Dr. Suleiman, and we enjoy our cooperation very much and uh, enjoy our stay in Kuwait. I see a big interest, a big interest, and uh, I see a, I can realize that this is very big and important event for Kuwaiti life, and uh, we are really happy to be part of this event. The festival will feature participation of Arab and international intellectuals, artists, journalists and critics to further promote culture, which is among the government's priorities as it is a catalyst for development and a major component of social justice and dialogue among civilizations. Following a glittering and elegant opening ceremony, the 20th edition of the ever-growing Grand Cultural Festival has kicked off and will continue to entertain audiences over the next two weeks with several planned activities, performances, events and surprises. From the Kuwait National Museum Theatre, this is Sarah Glub reporting for English News.